Good morning. The title of this devotional is How to Answer Questions. And I hope that uh, opens up some ideas and intrigues you a little bit. It should interest almost everybody. How do I answer people's questions? Hurry, tell me, I, tell me your answer. Tell me quickly and briefly. How do I answer people's questions? And I've got some questions of my own that I want answered too. Let's go to the master teacher for some guidance, shall we? I'm talking, of course, about Jesus, the Son of God, and God's messenger to us. The scripture passage is Luke 10, 25 to 37. I'm using the New Living Translation, which I like a great deal. One day, an expert in religious law stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Given this unusual circumstance, the opportunity to, to communicate and undoubtedly aware that he was being tested, Jesus answers his question with a question. Ever had anybody do that to you? Well, let me tell you, that was one of Jesus' methods. Must not be all bad, do you think? Ever happened to you? You're faced with a dilemma, an important issue or a problem. You need some real help, and you ask a friend to help you get some answers. You pose your question as briefly as possible and wait for a hopefully helpful guiding answer. And your friend answers your question with their own question. And in this encounter, Jesus does exactly that. Jesus says, what does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? That's Jesus' question. Appropriate? Yes. Don't you already know the answer to the question? So the expert in religious law quotes the answer that he has learned from childhood up. He says, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus says, in effect, right on, great answer. Do this, and you will live. But the expert won't leave it alone. He won't leave it there. So he asks the qualifying question, if you will, and who is my neighbor? Jesus answers this very, very important question. Question for the religious law expert and a religious and an important question for us. Who is my neighbor? Tell me, Jesus. Who is my neighbor? Jesus answers this very important question, one that we have to wrestle with fairly often. With a, he answers the question with a story. Notice Jesus' method now. He does not give a direct answer. He tells a story, a parable, if you will, so that the man will be faced with the possibility, at least, of answering his own question. Remember the story of the Good Samaritan? Yes, that was Jesus' parable, and that was Jesus' answer. Through the years, I have often asked someone who posed a question to me if he might possibly turn this question into a statement. And I have been surprised, very wonderfully surprised, that many times a question of faith posed by someone can really be made into a statement by him, and it becomes a sort of declaration of faith, replacing his question. 
Well, Jesus tells a story about a man who gets into trouble and needs help. We call it, as I say, the parable of the Good Samaritan from Luke 10. You remember the story, don't you? Two people see the man in need and do nothing. The third man, a Samaritan, renders caring assistance and then some. After telling the story with its easily discerned point, Jesus asks this religious law expert the ultimate question, which one would you say was a neighbor? And the man, faced with the obvious answer, replies, the one who showed him mercy. Beloved, that is our question today, isn't it? Who is my neighbor? Not just the one who lives next door or down the street or somebody across the road, somebody in my own community, somebody in my own nation, state, somebody in my own world, somebody in another country. What a far reaching question. Tell me, Jesus, who is my neighbor? And I can hear Jesus, can you tell him this story again about the man, the one man, the Samaritan, who takes care of him? And Jesus says, and who is the neighbor? The one, the one who cares. So, for us, was Jesus' story meant for just the religious law expert? Or did Jesus mean the story for me? I guess I know my own answer to that question, don't I? Do you? Do you want someone to define who is your neighbor any further than that? Ponder about it, pray about it, and be concerned that you show your caring nature by who you are and how you take care of people. <laughs>